I tend to look back on Pokemon Legends Arceus with some very rose-tinted glasses, and in many ways for good reason. I maintain that it is one of the best Pokemon games to date, and the best in the Switch era. Just my opinion. The Legends games give Pokemon a good chance to spread their creative wings a bit more than usual, and really take risks in altering the core Pokemon formula. Even the story of Arceus was a radical departure from other mainline games. The particular elements of survival, of community, of mystery, are still refreshing even after the release of Scarlet and Violet. But that's not to say that Arceus is without problems. And beyond the problems, there's still more room for improvement. That's why I am so excited for Legend ZA, the next installment in the Legend series. This provides Pokemon the chance to refine the Legends formula and deliver a game that can sit in the pantheon of not just Pokemon games, but maybe Nintendo games as a whole. That's ambitious, yes, but I'm a believer. So how exactly would Legend ZA go about this? Where could it improve on the groundwork that Arceus laid in 2022? Before we jump in though, I want to quickly take a moment to appreciate the amazing thumbnail art for this video. I commissioned it from a wonderful artist named Joy, I have linked their Twitter below. Please go check it out, the work they do is nothing short of spectacular. Let's start with the most obvious place for improvement, the graphics. The elephant in the room when it comes to ZA's release date is that it coincides very nicely with the rumored release timeline of the Switch's successor. I think it's fairly safe to assume that ZA will be a launch title for the Switch 2, and if it is, that means a huge leap in potential graphics quality for this game. Now, if it's more of a Breath of the Wild thing where it's on both the Switch and the Switch 2, it could be more of a graphics scaling thing, but there still should be improvement. For what it's worth, I actually liked a lot of the directions Arceus took in terms of graphics, but I can still acknowledge that Hisui could be a bit dull, or samey, or empty from time to time. With some beefed up graphics though, I think you could circumvent a lot of the problems that Arceus had. Simply increasing the density of grass, trees, rocks could really make the Lumio City of ZA feel much more full than Hisui did. And that's before you consider the possibility of far more wild Pokemon, improved textures, and any other bells and whistles they tack on. Early information suggests that Legend ZA will take place entirely within the confines of the burgeoning Lumio City which opens up ample opportunities to punch up the lighting effects. Imagine how nice a street lamp lined road in old timey Lumio City could look in this game. It gets me excited just thinking about it. But I think it's time to shift focus to the rest of my list of improvements, which all revolve around more tangible shifts in the game's mechanics. The Pokemon-e-ness of it all, if you will. The new battle mechanics of Legends Arceus were fairly polarizing. Some people loved them as a refreshing change of pace and others found them somewhat obscure and gimmicky. I land in the middle of those two groups, but I think that in concept they should be kept in ZA, just refined. My main issue with the strong style, agile style system is that I think that in its current form it makes the speed stat vastly overpowered. Speed is already one of the most important stats in Pokemon, but the Arceus system gave it an even bigger step up. Sure, agile style attacks reduce the overall power of the move, but not seemingly enough to make it a bad idea to opt for one or even two in a row if it buys you more overall attacks. Getting hit like three or four times in a row by a Crobat was far more annoying than it was impressive. I also felt like the whole move order system needs more clarity. I never really understood any of the underlying calculations and how they impacted the overall move order. A more complex UI for battles could be an answer to this problem along with the rebalancing of how much speed impacts move order. Also, to throw one last thing on, was it me or did Pokemon in general just feel way less bulky than usual? I think that also contributed to the feeling of the battle mechanics being a bit unrefined. Some tweaks and simple changes could really lock in the battling system though, and I hope they make these changes in ZA. Speaking of battling, I would absolutely love it if there was PvP battling in ZA. It doesn't have to be a full VGC style system, with the ranks ladder and changing rule sets, but any chance to battle online with other players would be awesome, and would extend the lifespan of the game as a whole. Arceus was great as a single player experience, but once you beat all the quests, there was little reason to come back to the game. Introducing online battling with a growing and changing metagame would create a reason to return to ZA long after you beat the main story. 
I will say, this would necessitate even more an overhaul to the battling mechanics, as the battle style of Arceus would not lend itself well to PvP battles. Too lopsided at times, and the metagame would be tilted too much towards speedy attackers. With some changes though, ZA could have some of the coolest Pokemon battling in the series. Who wouldn't want to pit their massive alpha Pokemon against each other in the middle of Lumio City? Plus, the move animations in Arceus still go crazy. I need that for PvP battling. While we're on the topic of game mechanics, it's time to talk about held items and abilities. While on the surface, simplifying game mechanics makes sense for the Legends series, in practice, I found the loss of these two major features really impacted battling in a negative way. Battling was a bit oversimplified in my opinion. I don't see why abilities needed to be removed. They really are a core way that Pokemon differ from one another. While I say that they were all removed, but I would be remiss not to mention the fact that Regigigas still had that slow start ability in Arceus. No escaping your fate, Regigigas. Back to rolling that boulder up the hill. As for items, I think that they provide so much variability in how a single Pokemon can be used, and I want that extra layer of complexity restored in Legend ZA. Luckily, I think we may have received a little hint already that they might be included. It is confirmed that Mega Evolutions are returning, and how do you enable a Pokemon to Mega Evolve? Holding a Mega Stone, of course. Now, I could see ZA just making Mega Evolutions available without held items being in play, but I really hope that they use this opportunity to bring back held items in general. The only downside to Mega Evolutions normally is that they require you to give up your held item to use them, unless you're Mega Rayquaza for some reason. But without held items, Megas are even more overpowered, which I really don't want if I want battling to be more balanced in general. With abilities and held items appearing in ZA, I hope that the Legends games can bring the deep battling systems of the rest of the main series games to the streets of Lumio City. My final wish list item is more a personal preference. I really want voice acting in Legends ZA. It's finally time. Arceus had some really intense cutscenes where voice acting would have enhanced the experience, and I am sure that ZA will have even more of them. In addition, Arceus had a great cast of characters that felt like they would have had even more personality with voices, and once again, I'm sure that ZA will carry that forward. I have already touched on this idea in my video where I detailed where I felt the Pokemon series could learn from the Zelda series. You should check that out after this. But in short, I think that ZA should implement a model where regular dialogue gets little vocal cues and cutscenes get full voice acting. I think it's a nice middle ground that lets the most pivotal moments of the story shine. I know that plenty of you will disagree with me on this point, which is totally fair, but I'm just tired of imagining what voice acting in a mainline Pokemon game would be like. Can't we just try it? Just this once? If it doesn't work, you can always accept that and just not do it again. But I think it's high time to give it a go, if nothing else just to see, because if it's done right, it could really take the stories of these games to another level. Alright, I think I've said my piece. I really can't overstate how much I adored Legends Arceus and how excited I am for Legends ZA. Even if it was the exact same as Arceus, I would probably still love it. But the possibility for so many new features and the soft reset of a new console have me hopeful for much more. Even the choice to set the game in Kalos feels like Pokemon is shaking things up a little, and I am here for it. But what do you think? Is all of this wishful thinking on my end? Maybe. Probably. But isn't part of the fun speculating. Regardless, I am really excited to hear what you think ZA will be like, and will be eagerly reading the comments. If you enjoyed this video, liking and subscribing helps the channel, and will keep you in the loop on new videos. As always, I'm Slam Gaming, and have a great rest of your day. See you next time.